guys and welcome back to my channel again how are you guys doing your family members your friends oh my gosh it's been ages it's been forever since i've been here um i did not record a video throughout may it was just so crazy like my friends my family weddings baby showers bridal showers it was just packed so much productions in church I cannot begin to tell you guys about it. If you want to know more about it, either go to my blog or follow me on Instagram, okay? I, I didn't care. Oh, I didn't buy it on Instagram. All right. So today, put them back. Um, I, I decided to record outside because it's summer, yay! And the weather is beautiful and the scenery is just beautiful. So I felt, you know, I'll just do something different, start recording outside. Let me know if you guys like it or if you want me back inside the house where I'm able to control everything. But anyway, Today, I'll be talking to you about another affair. It's a Ghanaian movie that features John DeMello and Justin Dumas, which was written and directed by Leila Jazzy. Very beautiful movie, won tons of awards in Ghana. I would love to talk to you about it, you know. So just sit down, relax, grab a bowl of popcorn or whatever you have to do, and enjoy the show. I'll I never right knew my parents. What you did wasn't wicked, it was a mark of a desperate and weak man, a coward. Welcome back. So today I'm talking to you about another affair. It's a Ghanaian movie, like I said, it features John Dumelo, Jocelyn Dumas, and it was written and produced. No, it was written and directed by Leila Jazzy. Now I'm giving this movie um, an 8 over 10. Let me tell you what this movie was about. It was about a particular doctor who was working in a remote part of Ghana and he needed a nurse, right? And so the nurse that was sent happened to be Jocelyn Demas, the doctor was John DeMillo. So, you know, she came, he didn't like her because he thought, you oh, know, it's a girl, she's not gonna be able to do the work. But of course, you know, she came, she started working, started surprising him, chemistry everywhere, emotions and stuff. Uh, they started connecting. And then before you know, you know, sparks start flying, they start making out and then they fall in love. But then we now start finding out different things about the guy and also about the girl. But at the end of the day, they still end up coming back together. Now, let me tell you why this movie was so amazing and why I'm giving it an 8 over 10. Because it was absolutely enjoyable and very, very easy to... I absolutely enjoyed watching this movie, the production quality. I mean, it's Layla Justin. If you've seen um, Ties That Bind, you would know what I'm talking about. Our productions are always excellent. She always pays attention to what she does so this movie was not an exception the production quality the sound quality picture sa uh, sound i think I'm yeah so another thing i liked about it was the chemistry between john miller and justly demands i wasn't sure how it was gonna be i mean you know how they were gonna connect but the chemistry between them was so real um however there was this scene where they did this cheesy Thing where they say oh um you can go uh i'm looking look at me in the eye and tell me you don't want me here and then it went like well i don't want you here and then next thing she was leaving and then he pulled her back and kissed her and i was like really we're gonna do that again it's 2014 but Vika has done it my jude has done it genevieve has done it mercy just has done it mike is already has done it. i mean who hasn't done <laughs> that stuff they need to start showing it in movies but um, yeah, so I really loved that about them that they were able to gel and connect together um, in this movie. All right, so all of that, you know, came together to make it a really, really good movie. I mean, it was a romantic comedy, so it was predictable. You know, you knew how it was gonna end. But the the twist and the oh my gosh, the surprises that came here and there in the movie were what made it really, really interesting and special. I especially enjoyed watching it because there was no, there was most, for like 90% of the movie, there was no music, no soundtrack. It was just pure silence and just the sounds of, you know, the people on set or the movement or the cars or what a view. So those were the things that really made it good. However, you know, as good as the movie was, it fell short in a couple of ways. I personally felt uh, it was an hour 50 minutes about two hours long I personally thought it was too long you know there were lots of things I would have cut out of the movie to probably make it an hour 30 minutes very enjoyable very easy to watch and straight to the point point. and also there was this thing where uh, John Dumele was talking to Jocelyn and there was someone lying on the bed and you could see the person's legs 
other side. It's just like I'm sitting right here and then there's someone sitting next to me. And the person is not supposed to be in the movie. Like maybe someone, one of the crew members or something. And you know, I could see the person there, obviously a guy. And I was just like, why wouldn't they just cut that out? I mean, obviously there was someone behind the camera while they were recording. So that threw me off a little bit. And then um, it was predictable. You know, you could tell how it was going to end. Um, it was boring in a, little, in a couple of places. That was why I said earlier that I would have cut it out to make it shorter so that, you know, there would never be a dull moment in the movie. But at the end of the day, did I enjoy the movie? Absolutely. I enjoyed watching it. I loved every second. Well, maybe not every second of it. <laughs> But I loved it, and I think you guys would too. And if you've seen it and you agree with me, you know, you know what to do. Just leave a comment down below. Let's share our thoughts. I'm glad to be back once again. It's Eight over ten for another affair. Kudos to Layla Jazzy for a well-directed movie. So I recorded outside today. I'm in what's it called? Historic Norcross in Georgia. That's the that's the surrounding I have right now. Um, I don't know if you guys are gonna enjoy me recording outside, but please let me know. It's summer. I just want to enjoy the beautiful weather and just watch kids play and all of that. Um, yeah. So that's it. Let me know what you think. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy new month once again. It's gonna be a great month for us all. Um, let me see. I love you guys so much. Have an amazing week. Mwah. God bless you. Bye-bye.